Okay, the third type of pulley problem is called an Atwood's machine, which is two masses hanging over. So there's no surface anymore, which means there's no normal force. So calculate the acceleration of the system. It's the same questions that we asked before. So we're going to want to know the acceleration and the tension. We're going to work them similarly, but there's less forces to deal with. So these problems are actually a little bit easier. So the first step, draw the force diagram on each of these guys. So for the red guy, you got the force of gravity going down, 58.8. I got that by taking 6 times 9.8. That's how I got this number. I got a tension force going up. Don't know what that value is. We're going to figure out what that value is. But those are the only two forces acting on it. What about the blue guy? Blue guy has a down force of 29.4. I got that by taking 3 times 9.8. That's how I got 29.4. Got a tension force going up. Again, don't know what this value is. We're going to calculate that. If we turn them on their side, it's easier to see which forces cancel out. So just like before, the two tension forces cancel. So now how do we calculate the net force? Since these two guys cancel each other out, all you're left with is the 29.4 going one way, the 58.8 going the other. How do we deal with forces going in opposite directions? We subtract them. So if we subtract the two, the net force is 29.4. Now, I want to be careful. It's not 29.4 because this guy's 29.4. It's 29.4 because that's the difference between these two FGs. So the difference in the two FGs is the net force. So that's the F in the F equals M times A. What mass should we use? Well, just like before, they're attached by a string. You can't move one without moving the other. So you add the masses. So in this example, uh, 9 kilograms. So the mass is 9. So now we calculate the acceleration, F equals M times A. So the force is 29.4. Mass is 9, we plug and chug, we get 3.267. So the red guy has an acceleration of 3.267. The blue guy has an acceleration of 3.267. But they're accelerating in opposite directions. That's why we put that this is a key point. Put the arrow in which direction they're accelerating. If you don't, it's going to be more confusing to calculate the tension force. So the lighter guy goes up, heavier guy goes down. So now let's calculate the tension in the string. So just like before, we treat it like an elevator problem. So let's do the blue guy. The blue guy is accelerating upward. So what does that mean? My up force has to be more than my down force. So now we do F equals M times A. Mass is 3 kilograms times his acceleration of 3.267. Plug and chug. My force is 9.8. Key question, what does that 9.8 represent? The difference between these two forces. So since my up force has to be more than my down force, by how much? 9.8. So that means my up force 39.2. So that's the tension in the string on this side. Well, let's calculate the tension over on this side and see if we see something. The red guy is accelerating downward. So what does that mean? My up force has to be less than my down force. So now we do F equals M times A. Take the mass of 6 times the acceleration. We get 19.6. What does this 19.6 represent? The difference between these forces. Since my up force is less than my down force by 19.6, I can get my up force to be 3.92. Now that happens to be the same number that we got over on this side. That should make sense. There's only one string. So it should make sense that the tension forces are the same on both sides of the pulley. So when on this problem they ask you to calculate the tension, 
it doesn't matter which side you use. What does matter is which way it's accelerating because that helps you to figure out whether you're adding or subtracting those net forces.